Anglo-American has a um, desire to achieve zero harm and part of that journey from where we are today towards zero harm, we've been able to implement some engineering solutions uh, on our continuous minor fleet. And in this particular case, it was a collaborative solution that was spearheaded by the guys in development and it's the foaming system for dust control. As the continuous miner is cutting coal, the operators are required to stand back as far as possible on the rear platform. During this cutting sequence, considerable dust is produced, which is traditionally removed via the vent tube installed adjacent to the miner. However, the rotating cutter head interferes with a laminar flow of air towards the tube, causing turbulence. This turbulent airflow can allow coal dust to migrate back to the area where the operator is required to stand whilst operating the miner. Poly integrated sprays which are installed between the operator and the dust source on the non-vent tube side of the miner provide a barrier to this dust. Its sprays are at an angle of 60 degrees. This allows the dust on the in-by side of the poly apron spray to be captured in the air flowing towards the vent tube. An Enviromist spray system has also been fitted to the miner. These sprays are run at a high pressure to target respirable dust in the 2.5 to 20 micron range. These sprays are positioned on the boom of the cutter head, in the throat of the miner to spray the conveyor and on the tail of the miner spraying down onto the shuttle car. After fitting these two systems, the issue of dust being generated when coal was being transferred between the mine conveyor and the shuttle car was still evident. Due to the nature of the ventilation of a development panel, the generated dust was transferred directly over any operator in by of the shuttle car as it made its way to the vent tube. The problem we have with the coal dust is that all the coal that's sitting in front of the, uh, in the shovel, as it gets loaded out, it then has to come back through over the guys and back to the ventilation system. And when we were bolting, we'd start up the chain, there's a big, big ball of dust that'd come out to out of the tail and then that ventilator would pick that up and just bring it straight back over the top of us and out the fan. A foam system has been designed and implemented to address this issue. Well as a development maintenance team we designed a few prototypes for the foam system so we could figure out a few way, the best way to deliver the system and how the product will react with the coal. So once we got some good results with that we designed a more compact, more maintenance friendly system which is what we have now. While the miner is in the bolting sequence, foam product is applied to the flight chain in front of and behind the hydraulic tank. The product is applied at a rate of 10 litres per minute. Its thick consistency enables it to slowly run down the chain and onto the shovel. This smothers the coal on the chain and the coal on the shovel in front of the miner. Once they do that, fills up the conveyor race while the boys are bolting. Once we start our mining process, we change to our other circuit which then is 20 litres a minute, which is a lot faster, which actually keeps up with the coal with the chain running. The increased flow rate blankets the higher rate of coal flow over the conveyor chain. When I start the chain up after the boys have finished bolting, um, instead of a big ball of dust, it's a nice, nice slurry comes out and we're not getting covered in the dust. A couple of years ago, you probably wouldn't be able to see yourself from the initial start up to the chain, but uh, after that foam's gone on, when you start the chain up, it seems to have reduced the dust a lot. From when you have a look at the, uh, the data, that we, raw data we got from the, the, uh, the mining method prior to doing any of this work, uh, and then you have a look at the results now, it's just incredible the work these guys have done. What we do is we, we monitor dust using a, a dust pump and a cyclone, and basically the dust gets collected in here, uh, it gets analysed, and we get a result for the dust exposure to a worker. The results that we've been getting in 2017, there has been no uh, exceedances of coal dust uh, for development crews for the last year and this year as well we're looking at uh, uh, continuing on with access for the first quarter we've had no exceedances. I'm pretty sure everyone will be like the same, feel like the same as me, um, you know you're not getting as much coal on you so obviously you're not breathing, breathing it in and um, everyone's going home safe. Since 2017 there's been uh, no failures at all. As I said it's probably just peace of mind, better health, 
so it makes it a better day at work. It's like chalk and cheese, you know, like you go down there a bit prior to this new foam system and see what the guys were exposed to and then have a look at what these guys have done. It's just, you just can't compare the two.